Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Quinn81. I'm on here doing an orange look because it's spring and I'm feeling a little spring. I have my orange colors on, so uh, I'm going to start off with um, using the NYX, which is the white base primer. I've applied a little bit onto my lid prior to making this video. I have all of my makeup on underneath as far as like my powder and my primer and concealer added. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brown color and I'm going to select the brown color based upon my skin tone. I have the 28 neutral palette which has become like my favorite palette. You guys have seen this palette several times on YouTube. If not, uh, this is the palette. This neutral palette I have is by Coastal Sense, and I really love this palette. I really wish I would have had this palette, like, you know, when I was getting married because the colors in here are so neutral. It, it, it's a, it has the perfect colors for any type of neutral looks, for bridal looks, anything. Everyday makeup for the office. Love this palette. I'm going to start off with this brown here, and I'm just going to pretty much just put it right in there. And I'm using a blending brush by Coastal Sands. And I'm just putting that in my lid crease, well, my crease area. And this is a good transition color when you're doing makeup. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm doing an orange look, I'm going to take one of my Coastal Sense eyeshadows. And it's from the Creative Me palette. I'm going to show you what color it is. The color, I mean the name that's on the back of it, it's CM04. CM04. And it's orange. I don't know if my light is picking up on that well, but it's like the neon orange that's included in that palette. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my flat brush, which is listed as the concealer brush for our elf, but I like using this to pat the eyeshadow on. So I'm going to take that color and I'm going to pat this on my lid. As you can see this color is very pigmented. And I'm just packing that all over because I want this color to really pop. Next, I'm going to do the left eye. Just gonna pack that color on there. I'm just making sure that it's covering my entire lid. Okay, so I have the orange on now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I do. 
have the orange on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one of my brushes, which is um, it's also kind of like a flat brush, but I'm just using a different because it has the orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And the color that I'm going to use to um, highlight is from, again, the Neutral Palette. And the color that I'm going to select is the one that's all messy. <laughs> and it's like, this is the like the second color on the second row. This is a good um, highlight color for me. I like to use this color because it's like an off-like beige-like color. Not beige, but off-white color. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to put this under my brow bone. Do the other eye like that as well. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go back in and take that brown color that I used. Um, again, you're going to take a brown color that matches your skin tone. And I'm going to go in and just blend that out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and line my eyes. I'm not sure where my eyeliner is right now, but I'm, you know, as far as my cream liner, I love to use the the Elf cream liner. I just really like the application. So what I'm going to do at this point is line my eyes with NYX and it's in black 901. So I'm going to use this. This is what I was using before I was even, you know, introduced to the cream or gel liner. I would always buy the NYX black pencils because of the intensity of the color. So I'm just going to line my eyes, you guys. Just make a small line. I'm not going to do anything too dramatic. See, go ahead and do the other eye. This is a very pigmented pencil. I love their pencils, I've been using them for so long. Okay, you see, there's my cat eye. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a little bit of that orange color. I'm going to take this brush. I like to use this flat shader brush, this flat um, C brush by e.l.f. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the orange and take it under here, under my eye, just a little bit not too much of the orange I don't want it to be too dramatic but I want you know some color down there on my lash line And then if you're not picking up enough color, you can always get a small precision brush. Sometimes that brush works <laughs> when you're doing it, but it depends on the color that you're using. So I'm going to put that and just drag it along the line. You can close your eyes or you can keep it open, but be careful not to poke your eye out. <laughs> So 
So that's the orange. I'm gonna do the other eye as well. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So I put the orange on that eye. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it or not, but I did put orange at the bottom. I have to attach some pictures to this video so you can see it. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, because I've already did the liner, I mean, line my uh, lash line below. What I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and take some mascara. Now, I'm not going to add any lashes to this look because I don't know where my lash glue is at the present time. I was traveling and I had all my products with me. I'm sure wherever the lash glue is, my um, gel liner is. So I gotta definitely find that stuff. So right now I'm just gonna apply this mascara to my top lashes. And the mascara that I'm actually using, I'm sorry, it's the Illegal Lash. Excuse me, Illegal Length. And it's made by Maybelline. And I really do like this stuff. I really do. It works really well. I mean, I put this on and then I turn around and look at it and I'm like, ooh, look at those lashes. It just really, these the extensions fibers that, that are included in here really make your lashes pop so that's that I'll put a little bit on the bottom lashes just so you can see them So, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into my um, Coastal Sense 10 Blush Palette. I'm trying to start using more blush, you guys. I really don't use a lot of blush, but I'm going to start using it more because I really love the way it looks on the skin. And to be honest with you, I've been using this e.l.f. blush brush, and I really like the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this orange here. It's like an orange color. Let me make sure that my camera is picking up on it. Hmm. It's really not picking up good. But I'm going to take that orange blush that's right here. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm not going to take too much because I already have an orange eye and I'm wearing orange as well. And I don't want to, you know wearing orange excuse me guys <laughs> we fix these straps yeah so um making it worse yeah okay so I'm not going to um, make it too dramatic so just taking my brush going to that orange blush and I'm just gonna put it right here and all you have to do is just smile I'm blending real good because you don't want to look like a clown. <laughs> I'm sure my camera's going to have a hard time picking up the blush but it's definitely on here it's not picking up well you guys I'm gonna to have to invest in another camera so but that's to come but I have my blush on here what I'm going to do is just go over my face make sure it's blended really well now with this brush I have the um, 
a little excess of the Avon Extra Lasting <laughs> Foundation. So I'm just taking that and just blending that in. And also, you can go into your eyes if you got any fallout. And go under your eyes. So, that's that. And what I'm going to do at this point is... I'm going to highlight my face and some bronzer. It's made by Clean Color. And what I'm going to do is take my blush brush by Costa Sense because I like the way this brush feels for adding bronzer to the skin. I'm going to go in and just dab my brush into that. And I'm just going to take the bronzer down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and then I just go across my forehead with it. Then I'm also going to do is just put it over that blush. You gotta highlight that face. The way you get that nice glowy look. So that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice color lipstick. Sorry guys if you hear that noise in the background. The dishwasher is going. You know you gotta multitask. So what I'm going to do is because I've, I have a bold look, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to try, I'm going to put on a neutral lipstick color. So you guys, I have the Sun Kissed palette, lip palette or quad by uh, Coastal Scents. And I'm going to use this color here, which is the second color in this palette to do my lipstick. I don't always put liner on my lips when I'm doing my um, lipstick. Sometimes I use it, but sometimes I want. I'm just taking this close to set loop brush. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and apply this to my lips. Oh, and you guys, you can also apply a chapstick of your choice as well. Guys, I have so much makeup going on here. It is crazy. So I'm probably not going to be able to find my chapstick, which is a hot mess. Yeah, I've been moving things around, so. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it. <laughs> it is what it is, but the chapstick. I'll apply it later if I can find it. But yes, I'm going to put this on my lips. All over. And you can go around it in case you go out of your lines of your uh, <laughs> out of your lift line so that's that if what I'm going to apply on top of it I'm going to apply this lipstick I'm sorry guys I'm all over the place I know the girl is crazy so yeah I'm going to take a coral lip gloss to go on top of it not going to put too much on here. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, I got stuff everywhere. Nah. <laughs> yeah. This coral lipstick, lip gloss, by Avon, and it's called Sweet Clementine. So I'm just going to put this on top of it. That way I get the neutral color, the nude color, and then a little bit of the... Clementine on top. And that is that. So I have my springy look for the day. And I hope you guys can see this really good. I'm just going to go through my hair. I just took my flexi rods out. I'm telling you guys, flexi rods seem to 
really work for me. Roll your hair up at night and get these nice beautiful curls when you wake up. So that is that you guys. If you have any additional questions or concerns on how I got this look, feel free to definitely comment or ask any questions that you may have. All right, that's the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching Views by Quinn81, and have a great week.